So this game, Roblox Formula Dream Project, RFDP, might be one of the hardest Roblox F1 games there is. If there's a harder one, let me know in the comments below. A couple of people have suggested to me to play this game, and I'm finally doing it. And I none of the, these menu buttons work yet. It tells you to join the Discord, the YouTube, the group, okay. And you can see there's a little drive button here. I think that's the only button that works. I have played this game on stream stream yesterday or two days ago i can't remember and i must say it was chaos everyone was struggling to finish a lap i think i'm gonna drive on bar uh, no not bahrain uh, i already drove on bahrain on stream so i will go on monza first i might go on to bahrain in a little bit now this isn't supposed to be like an actual game if you go into this thing it says it's just a project or a showcase they want to just showcase the technology the chassis and the cars and i guess that's very cool oh my god this camera it makes me so dizzy they have this weird fov with the camera i like the light and i like the graphic kind of gives me adrenaline formula racing vibes but it doesn't use the 2022 cars but i do like it uh let's choose which car so this is the mercedes this is the 2021 ferrari we all know that one is very slow this is the red bull i think i'm gonna go with the red bull and you can see it looks very nice like the graphic Graphics are very well made. I like the lighting they did. It's definitely competing with uh, adrenaline formula racing in that sense. There you go. We got into the car. You can see there's a little timing system on the top right or the right hand of the screen. Uh, it actually tells you your sector times and everything, which is very awesome. But um, I can I not go first person? I don't know. I forgot to check which key it was to go into first person. So I guess we're just gonna drive like this. You can see my hands as well on the steering let's just put us on hard no what happened to my tires they just like refresh um i guess we're gonna go on hard and let's go on automatic as well and you might be wondering what makes this game so hard well let's just say um i might not be driving a, a has but i might start driving like a previous has driver because it's so easy for the rear to just spin out thankfully we're on monza high speed circuit there isn't that many slow corners but in the slow corners we are going to start oh my god let's slow down here okay we're making it through the shish game quite quickly right now it's mainly the like the tight high speed corners that i might worry about okay we're keeping us under oh my god oh my god okay i already spun i already spun this is supposed to give you like a realistic feeling of how the car is actually feeling in real life in terms of the oversteer like the rear snaps at any moment if you give it a chance to like snap if you steer too hard hit a bump like make the car slightly unstable the rear is is gonna slide out and you're definitely gonna spin unless if you're like some sort of amazing driver that manages to save it but yeah oh my god the parabolic is gonna be a pain you can see we set two purple sectors actually eight tenths between our first sector and second sector very similar lap times we set a 121.5 on our out lap i don't think that's a good time at all so let's see what we can set on a hot lap i'm not using ers because it doesn't work in controller oh my god i'm trying to steer so smoothly as well I must say Monza is way easier than Bahrain. I think I'm gonna go do this hot lap and then go into Bahrain to show you how hard this actually is. But in terms of the tracks, I, re I really like the tracks as well. They're well made. They're not free models, I don't think. Well, at least uh, Sakir or Bahrain wasn't free model because I can tell the layout was completely different. It didn't look very like realistic or exactly the same as real life. Oh my god, I lost the rear again. I love how there is a timer on the steering wheel like it tells you what the current lap time is you're on but yeah we set a 113.7 uh let me try to enable ers on my keyboard there and let's do one final lap before we switch tracks oh my god i just did that very quick that was a very good first turn for the amount of laps i've done so far on this track it's really hard to build up confidence in these cars because they're just gonna step out at any chance oh my god i just made the car unstable well rip that lap so my personal best on tr this track was like a 123 that i set on stream we're gonna be see seeing if we can improve on that but you can see this track is already way more difficult because of how many like tight corners there is and i don't know if different cars have different specs i can definitely tell like the cars have way less oversteer than when i played on stream 
luxury. Okay, I just won. But yeah, I feel like they have less overseer. Like, there feels to be more downforce on the rear. I don't know if the game devs updated the game after my stream or not. But it definitely feels more stable. It's not easy, but it's definitely easier. It just feels like I can actually push the car now and not have anxiety through every single corner. Yeah, it seems like my outlap might be better than what my hot lap was earlier. Oh no, I spun on the final corner. Okay, that's great. And I got a corner cut. That's amazing. Okay, let's go back so we can get a, a good run up. We got 100 ERS and we are deploying now. So let's just get a good exit. We're gonna be starting our hot lap. There you go. Let's hope we get a good time now. I think we break around 100. 50 here and turn in there you go no cut somehow yeah the cars are way more stable than what they used to be it's definitely still scary to drive the cars but not as scary oh my god i almost lost the rear there 18.5 in my first sector i couldn't even get like a flat 19 second lap sec sector time earlier but yeah i already bottled this lap which means i was pushing too hard i like this ferrari steering wheel it looks like there's like the different tire temperatures but it's just like a picture they don't actually change it would be cool if this game like if it's a showcase trying to show off very cool features it would be very cool if we could see like tire temperature maybe brake temperature and all that kind of jazz we haven't had a really advanced game in terms of roblox f1 games recently so i hope maybe we can see that here but there you go i got like three corners very nicely there i just need to make sure i don't bottle it here where i have a good turn and there you go that was very good oh my goodness we set another purple first sector it's just not oh spin here no 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 no! i break so late i break so late now oh my god no corner cuts but i went so deep into that corner because i was like still trying to line up my car for the corner and i break so late because i waited so much but but yeah oh my god you definitely need to avoid like braking and steering at the same time or like steering too much under braking because it makes your car very unstable also hitting the bumps the curves and so on and through a corner just instantly means you're gonna spin but yeah we're gonna finish this lap and start another one straight after a 123.2 okay so we're already fighting for our personal best so yeah these cars are the completely different so let's try i think i, I personally Personally, think we can go under or 120. I don't know, but I think we can go under 120 if we just push hard and play it safe. Oh my god, so far so good. We lost three chance in the first sector though from our personal best, and we're just overtaking somebody there. I can turn off ABS and traction control if I wanted to, but that just sounds like Mazepin Simulator to me. There you go, so far so good. Come on, this corner like was the hardest one on my stream. I kept spinning and it's so much. 43 second sector time the second sector that's a very good lap time there let's break late here you want to carry as much speed as possible don't go too wide you don't want to get a corner cut i think this is a 119 what is this gonna be come on show me yes a 119.1 three chance off in the first sector so we could even set a 118 but yeah that's my best lap so far uh there's this guy in the server he set a 133 um i don't think that time is gonna be beating me anytime soon did he stop on track does he want to fight um, there is no collisions. Uh, what do you want to do? Hello? Hi. Hello. Okay, well, I don't know what he wants to do. I think I'm gonna do one lap without traction control to see if it's actually hard or not. I'm just gonna recharge ERS now. Okay, there you go. Traction control is disabled. ABS is also disabled now. Let's see if the cars feel any different. I don't think ABS does, does that much. It just means no lockups but i haven't really felt any lockups in this game there you go we can go under braking pretty nicely um i do not feel the lack of traction control what's going on uh, usually when you disable traction control in a formula one car because it's a rear wheel drive and there's so much horsepower you instantly start spinning if you're going like full throttle like me right now and yeah i'm going full throttle right now 
and there isn't much spinning going on so i'm really confused is this all wheel drive or is this rear wheel drive i don't think this is all wheel drive but yeah it's not really giving me any like lack of traction vibes it's it's like what i was used to on that previous lap it's still very hard but it's not that different so i'm not sure if that really works or not oh no oh no oh my god they just went so deep but yeah this is the, definitely different it's like different from the usual super high downforce no oversteer very high grip cars you, you see in a few games it's like an actual challenge right now it's not as difficult as it used to be but it's still definitely a challenge to set consistent lap times like for example you probably wouldn't be able to go a full race length without like spinning out at least once or at least i wouldn't be able to do that because of my skill level but still it's not gonna stop you from setting good times if you have the pace so let me know in the comments below what lap time you set on every track it looks like i might be improving right now but yeah if you do play this game let me did i just cut the we start to get some corner cuts okay but let me know what lap times you guys set if you do play this game i lost a second and a half in the second sector alone i don't think i'm gonna be making it up here so i don't think this will be an improvement this will be like a 120.5 Let's see a 120 flat. Okay, but that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. The Ion update is just around the corner. So subscribe to the channel so not to miss my stream and my videos once the Ion update comes out. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.